Well, there's nothing that Jose and I like more than brand new video game technology. I love it. I know, I love it too. We got iPad 2s? We don't have iPad 2s, but we do have Nintendo 3DSs. Maybe you have one too. This is Nintendogs plus cats. That's right, cats. Cats are now in your Nintendogs in a much different way than I expected. Well, they're barely in the game. I mean, they're there. You can eventually get them in the game. Yeah. But first, before Dropping. we get to the cats, we gotta get to the dogs, because that's the beginning of this thing. And if you played the old Nintendogs Which game, I didn't. you didn't play it. Wasn't a big fan of the Nintendogs. I played it and I wasn't a big fan of the Nintendogs yeah. either. And this is really kind of the same game. It's just tailor-made now for the 3DS with the 3D functionality and everything. So you start off, you adopt a pet, you have a bunch of different breeds. Yeah. And basically what you do is you take this pet and you teach them a bunch of tricks. You can take them out on walks. Sit. That's why I spent a whole lot. Sit. Sit! Try doing that yeah. at like 1 o'clock, 2 in the morning. I know. Roommates think you're crazy. What Nintendo really focused on here is creating a good simulation of a dog. The game itself has a lot of problems and it's not that fun, but the actual graphics, the way that the dog moves, the little incidental things the dog does, yeah. it's pretty awesome. The 3D technology part yeah. wasn't too keen on it. But I did think that the 3D technology here compared to some of the other launch titles, I mean, at least it works because really all you're doing is staring at a pet. When you turn on the 3D effect, you can kind of make out I some mean, of the pet better. When you kind of can scroll around it, it looks like it's there yeah, in your 3DS. It, you know, it works fine. I'm just saying it's not doing anything to change the gameplay. It's like, all right, the dog's yeah. running around in 3D. Well, I that can... might be the story of the 3DS, though. I mean, that's yet to be told, but I suspect some of the games aren't going to use that 3D to really impact gameplay. This is certainly a game where the 3D doesn't change the way you're going to play. Yeah, and the addition of cats. Like, I mean, it's cool. You can have your cat, you can brush it and do all this other stuff, but that's pretty much it. They're just there for looks. It's I mean, totally not cool. They like, shouldn't have even put cats in the game title. It's such a throwaway here. First of all, it costs a bazillion dollars. First, you gotta get a dog before you're allowed a cat. That's true. So you gotta get your dog, you gotta earn a bunch of money in That's competitions. Why it's plus cats. You buy a cat, you you're all excited. G. You got Mr. Whiskers, he's totally adorable, Meow. and he doesn't do anything. Meow. He does nothing. He, they, this is all he does. That's all he does. I don't Pet need him. I don't, that I don't need in my I mean, I could buy a lamp and just have it in the corner and it'd be just as exciting as a cat in this game. You can't take it out on walks. No. Nope. You can't, can't teach it, it any tricks. Can't it doesn't it. come when you call it. Man, getting ignored by a cat in a virtual pet game, that's pretty low. That's low. I'm already ignored by a real cat. I don't need to turn on a video <laughs> game and watch my video game cat just like, forget it, dude, I'm gonna go sit on the window. And you're like, come on! I have to spend money to play with you. So you know the whole Nintendo Dogs plus Cats 3D experience wasn't what I was hoping for. I wished a little bit more out of it, at least especially because I'm a cat guy. That's why I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. Well, I'm a dog guy and I wanted more out of it as well. Six out of 10. 